Hello everyone, what makes you choose an M.2 NVMe drive Gen 4 over another M.2 NVMe drive that is also Gen 4? There are many aspects and I'm gonna answer this in this video. So here I have the crucial P5 Plus 2TB NVMe drive. This is a Gen 4 NVMe drive. And here I have the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 2TB Gen 4 also NVMe drive. What is different between these two drives are three things of course apart from their brand. The TimeTech doesn't have any DRAM cache whereas the Crucial has 2GB of DRAM cache. The TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 has a Maxio technology controller whereas the Crucial has a Micron controller and the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 is made of graphene. So graphene this is this new material discovered in 2004 that absorbs heat very well whereas the Crucial is not made of graphene. So in my video I'm gonna be performing the following tests to see what drive is better. I'll be performing a real-world speed test that is copying files to and from the drives, games launch time, Windows boot time, and also I'll be launching Crystal Disk Mark Benchmark on both these drives to see if the speed that is claimed by the manufacturer of these drives is attained by the drives. And also I'm going to be performing a stress test to see if really the graphene construction of the time tech is better than the like normal construction of the Crucial P5 Plus. So let's start our tests. The first test I'm performing is Windows boot times. And here both drives are cloned, so they are configured exactly the same. And while I performed this test, there are no other drives connected to the PC. And here the Crucial P5 Plus was 3 seconds faster than the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1. It booted Windows in 20 seconds, whereas the TimeTech booted Windows in 23 seconds. Here I'm testing games launches, and the first game I'm testing is PUBG. And here the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 was 2 seconds faster than the Crucial P5 Plus, so it launched the game in 46 seconds, whereas the Crucial P5 Plus launched the game in 48 seconds. The second game I'm testing is Fortnite, and this is a very heavy game. And here the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 was much faster than the Crucial P5 Plus, so it launched the game in 32 seconds as opposed to 40 seconds for the Crucial P5 Plus. So now I'm launching Assetto Corsa Competition, and this is the last game I'm testing on these two drives. And here also the TimeTech drive was faster than the Crucial when launching this game, so it launched it in 27 seconds as opposed to 30 seconds for the Crucial P5 Plus. So this here is a file copy test and I'm starting by copying a large file that is 35 gigabytes from the same drive to the same drive, so this way the test will be accurate. And here the Crucial P5 Plus was much, much faster than the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1, so it performed the operation in 18 seconds, whereas the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 performed the operation in 32 seconds, and the Crucial was almost two times faster than the Pinnacle SD1. Here I'm copying 12.5 gigabytes of photos and videos, and this is more of a real-world usage of these drives. And here the Crucial P5 Plus with DRAM cache was 3 seconds faster than the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 without DRAM cache. So the Crucial was averaging 932 megabytes per second, whereas the Pinnacle SD1 was averaging 781 megabytes per second. And when I run Crystal Disk Mark Benchmark at the end of this video, you're gonna see why the Crucial is outperforming the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 in each file copy test. This is the last file copy test I'm performing and it is copying a large number of small files that amounts to 12.3 gigabytes of data and this is like the hardest operation on any hard drive. And here also the Crucial P5 Plus with DRAM cache was faster than the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 without DRAM cache. The Crucial was averaging 154 megabytes per second whereas the Pinnacle SD1 was averaging 137 megabytes per second. Now I'm testing both drives with Crystal Disk Mark Benchmark and Crystal Disk Info. And here I changed the default of Crystal Disk Mark from 5 to 9 passes so to stress the drive. For the performance, Crucial P5 Plus in the read performance performed as expected, but in the sequential write performance it was 1500 megabytes per second slower than the advertised speed. And the temperature of the Crucial P5 Plus reached 73 degrees Celsius. As for the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1, in the read sequential operation, it also reached the advertised target, but in the sequential write operation, 
It missed the target by a huge margin. It is advertised as 6700 megabytes per second and here it reached only 2500 megabytes per second. And this is a huge difference. And this is why the time tag lost in all the file copy tests because it can read fast but it cannot write fast. And this is why also it won in the game's launch test because it reads faster than the Crucial P5+. Plus. Now temperature wise and because it is made of graphene the time tech pinnacle sd1 temperature didn't go beyond 47 degrees celsius and this is really very good so now to answer the question that i asked in the beginning of this video how to choose a gen 4 nvme m.2 drive so forget all about the numbers in the marketing because these are only numbers as you saw so even though both drives reach the numbers that are advertised in the read operations they miss their numbers in the right operations. So instead of looking at the numbers in the advertisement, look at the following aspects. The first aspect, look at the warranty of the drive and of course at the manufacturer of the drive. So here both drives have a five years warranty, but of course Crucial is a more established company than TimeTech. Now also you need to look at the real performance as I tested in this video. And you saw that the Crucial as an overall like package drive outperformed the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1. And also another important aspect is to see the life expectancy of the M.2 drive. So the Crucial has a 1200 TBW, which is terabyte written life expectancy, whereas the TimeTech Pinnacle SD1 say that they have 2000 TBW, which is much better than the Crucial. Now for the meantime between failure, the Crucial advertises that they have 2 million hours, whereas the time tag has 1,500,000 hours. But in both cases, these numbers are really very high. And the last thing you need to see is the budget. Here, of course, I did this comparison between the Crucial and the time tag Pinnacle SD1. But the information that I gave you also apply to all other drives. So to help you to choose what M.2 NVMe drive you need to purchase. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.